uh, Asia-based Bitcoin investors face market volatility. As automated trading bots react to data from U.S. Bitcoin ETFs, uh, potentially influencing market swings. And the claim is not identity and making them all a sort of property. Uh, they would really be honest because uh, there are a lot of influences far well uh, and feel the create reporter and to that report uh, in making that trade a crypto executive. And there's still works uh, uh, removing into in killing Jess. However, in the middle of a tempo, LAPD dot minute. It seems that's basically what's happening. So, uh, Shui on Tong uh, on after two, Bitcoin price experienced a significant downturn during the Asian trading session, coinciding with indications of investors withdrawing funds from these ETFs. According to data from Cohen Glass, Bitcoin's price on a pair at 02 in a moment plunged to $64,650, losing around 6% in a day and causing the broader crypto market to experience a spike of volatility. Though as a press time, Bitcoin is trading at $66,346 according to data from CoinGecko. Uh, the approval of multiple spot Bitcoin ETF applications by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission in early January ushered in approximately $12 billion in net inflows. Uh, the peak of the ETF inflow aligned with Bitcoin's new all-time high of $73,798 in mid-March. However, subsequent periods of outflows have contributed to Bitcoin's current 11% decline from its peak. And Galaxy Digital CEO Michael Novogratz had earlier hinted at the possibility of corrections and market consolidation in early March prior to Bitcoin's surge to new highs. Despite the market's overheated state, Novogratz maintains an optimistic outlook for the future, anticipating potential approval for spot Ethereum ETFs by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission later in the year.